Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Dawn Baker and I'm Mike Siva. New at six, a potential change coming to City of Savannah special event permitting ordinances after growing concerns from neighbors near Forsyth Park. Those concerns stemming from a private event over the weekend that residents say blocked off sections of the East Lawn for two weeks and damaged the lawn. WTOC's Flynn Snyder joins us now live in Forsyth Park. All right, Flynn, what are neighbors saying about the event's impact over the last two weeks? Yeah, Mike Don, we are here just uh, outside of the band shell on the East Lawn here at Forsyth Park and take a look at one of the reasons why these neighbors say they're concerned following the large private event over the weekend. Now that you can see the discoloration in the grass here on the East Lawn and now those who live in the Victorian district are calling for those city permitting ordinances to change after they say that private event used public space at Forsyth Park for two weeks, causing disruptions in this popular area during one of the busiest times of the year. What's left behind from a wedding over the weekend in Forsyth Park is causing some who live nearby to call for a change in Savannah's special event ordinance. I don't remember any kind of an event this large or the setup that long. Parts of the East Lawn near the band shell are discolored after city records show two large tents were placed here for the event. Permit holders were able to set up in the space for 15 days from April 26 until May 10th. Now, Victoria Neighborhood Association President Nancy Maya says the city rules should change after several residents raised concerns about the event's long setup time and the impacts to Forsyth Park. There's the 10 setup days, which creates traffic problems, parking problems, but then there are also the three or four days afterwards that creates other issues. This was a very private event that kind of usurps the needs or, or the availability for those of us who live here, but also also people who come and visit. Maya says the city responded quickly to residents concerns and committed to changing the ordinance for setup and takedown to a maximum of three days. We reached out to the city who told us there currently isn't a limit to how long a special event permit can be given for and that they're constantly reviewing ordinances to better reflect changes in the community. An invoice we obtained from the city shows the permit holders paid $750 a day to use the space, with the total costing more than $12,000. I think it's just opened the eyes of a lot of us to the need to really reevaluate where the ordinance is and how we protect our environment and the resources that we have for things that we may not have anticipated. Now today, May 10th, was the last day that the permit lasted for. All of the items, it appears, for that event are now gone from the East Lawn here at Forsyth Park. The city says they don't know how much it will cost to repair the discolored grass here, but Maya says that the city has told her that the event planners will be on the hook for those repair costs. We still haven't gotten a time frame of how long those repairs are expected to take. We're live in Forsyth Park, Flint Snyder, WTOC News.